Uh, Siege Workshop is complete. Tab this out so we can read it. The If I want to make a ballista, I need three ballista parts. If I want to make a catapult, I need three catapult parts. The catapults use stone as ammunition, and the ballistas, you need to create ballista am, uh, arrows, right? So the only one that you can make in the Siege Workshop is the wooden ballista arrow. If you want to make any of the metal arrows here, like if I want to make this steel ballista arrow, I add that, maybe set a workflow for it. Uh, four to five is fine for now. So they're not going to be able to make that steel ballista arrow unless I go over to the metalsmith forge or the magma forge and in here add a task for siege equipment and then select seal and then forge a steel ballista arrow head and I'll repeat that hold W one to two so they're gonna make the steel ballista arrow head in the magma forge or metalsmith forge and then right up here what I'll do is um, pile stockpile you uh, for furniture and uh, let's make a small one off to the side right here and the settings of this uh, forbid the type forbid stone and clay forbid other materials so metal only and this will be ballista arrow heads so after they make them in the magma forge, they're gonna bring them here, and then the siege engineer is gonna grab one, bring it down to the siege workshop, combine it with wooden logs to become a arrow. Okay, so I'm following Das Tot, and he's forging the steel ballista arrowhead. Uh, looks like he's gonna get. Looks like he's gonna get a second. Um, Second set of bars of steel to the magma forge here. And now uh, Id here has the steel ballista arrow head and he's bringing it down to the siege workshop to assemble the steel ballista arrow. Okay, so B for build and then I for siege engine, uh, which is here. And I'm gonna build a ballista, and I'm gonna just put that right here. Maybe two up, enter, enter, and then the other ballista parts. And the ballista here is created. So let me click on the ballista, and I'm gonna press O for the orientation. I'm gonna have it facing up. It's the ballista arrow is now gonna hit this wall and then fall down, and since it hit a wall and then fell a Z level, it's not gonna break, kinda like when you're archery training for your military. Um, P for a stockpile, U for furniture. I'm just gonna set that right here. Settings of this, I'm forbid the type. Uh, so pretty much any material, and then just um, C jammo. Oh, I'm gonna forbid uh, other materials, right? No. I'm gonna forbid stone and clay. Metal and other materials are okay because sometimes I'm gonna have wooden arrows shoot. And the only thing it's gonna accept are siege ammunition is siege ammo. And then designations O for traffic orders, R for restricted traffic area, and then from the arrowhead up, just like this. and then fire at will facing up. So now the siege operators are gonna come in here and start just firing this ballista at will against the wall. The ammo is gonna be recycled into this um, siege ammo stockpile that only accepts um, siege ammo that is either metal or wood. And then they're gonna bring the arrow back. He just fired it. Who is that? Hold on. He's gonna load the ballista now. I think he's got another arrow down here. Yep. 
So he just took it from the siege workshop and he's bringing it back to the ballista to fire again. And this is going to train his um, all the siege operators' skills. Every time they fire it, they're going to they're going to get a little bit skill up. And um, in a later episode, I want to um, clear out a space up top where we have a small ballista battery. So it looks like he's loading it as he, as they load it. This they load it faster as their skill goes up as well. He's going to fire another one. Excellent. And it falls right down into the um, the stockpile that holds the ammunition for it. So eventually they're going to come down and just kind of start recycling the ammo. Just in a big loop here where they keep gaining skill. Um, he's got another one here. It looks like they're going after the ones that are in the workshop first before they cut, take them out of the stockpile. So I'm going to leave that set up like this so that way all the siege operators in the fortress can come down here and train. Um, they can only do it one at a time and I have the uh, restricted area set here. So hopefully none of them walk in front of that. Thanks for checking out this short clip from my Dwarf Fortress Let's Play. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and the notification button so you can be one of the first ones to check out my new videos when they come out. If you want to watch the full series, head over to the playlist section of my YouTube page and look for Basement Graves and Beers.